President Volodymyr Zelensky stated on Saturday that Ukraine is ready for a brutal war with Russian soldiers gathering in the east, while British Prime Minister Boris Johnson pledged further financial and military help. Johnson told Zelensky in Kyiv that Britain will give armored vehicles, anti-ship missile systems, and further World Bank financial help. Britain would also maintain its sanctions on Russia and stop utilizing Russian hydrocarbons, he added. Ukraine will never be bullied, blackmailed, or intimidated in the same way, Johnson added. Johnson was the latest foreign leader to visit Kyiv since Russian military left the city a week ago. After meeting with Austrian Chancellor Karl Nehammer earlier in the day, Poroshenko warned that although the danger to the capital had diminished, it was increasing in the east. We believe in our struggle and our triumph. We are ready to fight and negotiate to stop this war, Zelensky stated. Ukrainian negotiator Mihailo Podolyak claimed Zelensky and Putin would not meet until after Ukraine has conquered Russia in the east. We are paying dearly. But Russia must shed its imperial illusions, he told Interfax Ukraine. Air raid sirens blared in places throughout eastern Ukraine, where Russian troops had withdrawn from Kyiv. Ukrainian authorities have advised citizens to escape. On Friday, a missile attack on a railway station in Kramatorsk, Donetsk region, killed over 50 people, authorities reported. The Russian invasion, which started on February 24, has displaced about a quarter of the 44 million people, destroyed cities, and killed or maimed thousands. The killings of civilians in Bukha, a village north of Kiev controlled by Russian soldiers until last week, sparked worldwide outrage. We will never forget what we witnessed here, it will be with us forever, said Bohdan Zubchuk, a community policeman in the area. Russian departure from the area showed disproportionate civilian targeting, according to British military intelligence. A special operation to demilitarize and denazify its southern neighbor, Russia denies targeting people. Ukraine and the West condemn this as a bogus war pretext.